two feet. Hit it. Welcome back. Here with us now is Laurie Dwyer. Welcome. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. How are you guys today? Good, good, good. thank you. Good. And now Laurie is Assistant Director of Fitness and Wellness at the rec center here at Rowan. Right. And you guys have a big event coming up, yes, the Health and Wellness Fair. We do. Can you tell us a little bit about what goes on? I sure that? can. So um, this year, next Wednesday, um, April 11th, from 11 a.m. till 2 p.m., um, in the main gym area is our Health mm -hmm. and Wellness Fair. So I took over um, organizing this event uh, 13 years ago when I started. So we're in our 16th mm -hmm. annual Health and Wellness Fair. And really the goal of the fair is to kind of bring the entire Rowan community together. So it is focused to everyone at Rowan, the students, the faculty, staff, the administrators, um, to anyone. And if you look at the mission of the rec center, you know, our goal, because a lot of people think in, you know, we're the gym. Um, mm -hmm. And some people are intimidated to walk through our doors and they don't want to come in because they're not already fit or they don't mm -hmm. play sports. So the health and wellness fair is a chance to try and get people through our doors to help them understand that we really believe in the, the totality of wellness for individuals. Okay. So we do have like our nationally certified trainers. They have a little section where they'll do live demos and answer any questions. Um, we have our certified nutritionists there as well to answer any nutritional questions. Um, it's a huge collaborative event through the whole campus. So the health centers there are doing blood pressures. Counseling and psychological services are there promoting um, some of the services they offer to students on campus. Um, Sodexo will be there this year and they're oh. going to, yes. Um, what I asked them to do is to provide food. Um, so there is free food at the fair. Um, but I asked them to provide food this year that students could get on a regular basis. Because um, sometimes in the past they've kind of made something special for my events. So I'm like, I want students to know healthy choices that are available to them all the time, okay. regardless of when they go to the marketplace or to the profs place or things like that. So they'll be there um, with some, some live food demos and stuff. Last year they did great smoothies, so I don't know what they're bringing this year. Ooh, but those were good. I tried them. They were really yeah. good and they made them fresh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, so they're there. We bring in um, healthy campus initiatives and they do things um, on um, as far as social wellness, uh, we have some on-campus religious groups that will bring in the spiritual wellness of it. And then we do invite outside commute or outside uh, vendors. Um, so we have some vendors coming in to do free massages, free mm. reflexology, which is like the foot massage. Okay. We do um, free cholesterol screening, free glucose screening, free body fat screening. Um, so we really hit all the dimensions of wellness. We have social aspects, spiritual aspects, um, physical aspects, obviously, mm -hmm. occupational aspects. We bring in the... Um, mm -hmm. The, well, it was formerly called the CAP Center, but now it's Career oh, and right. Academic Management Center. Katie, I believe yes, the acronym. Yes, exactly, yeah. oh, yeah. exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So they come in to talk about occupational okay. um, wellness and things like that. Okay. So so again, it's kind of an opportunity. We, we generally get some great attendance. We have anywhere from four to 600 people who come oh, wow. through the doors. But we want it bigger. We want, it, we want all students to come in and take part yeah. of it because you know, for us students between the ages of 18 to 25 or even the non-traditional mm -hmm. students who might come back really struggle with really, you know, yeah. getting a, a consistent lifestyle of wellness. Oh, yeah. So it's their opportunity to see what they might have to be doing. So that is definitely so true. that's the gist of it. Yeah. yeah. It's like a lot going on. It, it's, it's, yeah, it's you can tell why it's like yeah. the, uh, one of probably the biggest events at the rec center. For the most the part. Biggest. Yep. Yeah, for the most part. Yeah. Yeah. And now 16 years has it's been going on. Yes. How has it grown? 16th. From like, You've been there all 16 years? No. I started, yeah, when I started there, they were about three years in. So okay. um, yeah. And even from then, how has it grown? I think one of the, the biggest things that I'm really happy about is in the beginning, I think it was just kind of a couple of outside surrounding vendors. Mm -hmm. um, and we really wanted to present to everyone at Rowan all the services they have right here mm -hmm. under their own roof. So the collaboration piece of adding in everyone else, all the other departments on campus, I think has been a real big mm -hmm. aspect because it yeah. allows them to, you know, allows people to know what they have access to right here. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to remember possibly how many mm -hmm. vendors we had. We Probably, probably had about 10 or 15 vendors. Now we're up to about 35 mm -hmm. vendors that come oh, wow. out. Yeah, that come out and support awesome. the day. And of so. course, they get to promote their stuff too. Mm -hmm. Of course, yeah. Which, which is always right. But what I try to nice. help the vendors understand, I call them vendors, meaning mm -hmm. you know, outside organizations, is certainly mm -hmm. it's a promotional tool for mm -hmm. them but I want them to share in our same philosophy as really just promoting wellness. I mean, that's mm -hmm. what we should all be in the field for. Yeah. So as long as they kind of have that same passion, I'm totally, they'll hand out business cards or right, right. pens mm -hmm. with their things on it and that's totally fine. <laughs> but as long as they kind of share our mission with really the ideas also just to help people understand about their wellness and everything. Okay. So. Right, and then you said these are all 
opportunities that we have every day at our fingertips with Rowan. So it's really nice to put it. them yeah. all together in a place where everyone can access right. it. Right. Would you say like place. having a healthy lifestyle is hard? It seems like a lot to manage. What would, mm -hmm. your, what would your advice be on that? Especially for college students. Yeah. yeah. It's funny you ask. I just was talking to a girl yesterday who was doing her thesis on this. And um, it, it's a very broad question to answer. Yeah. Do I think leading a healthy lifestyle is challenging? Um, no and yes. I say no because really a lot of it's at your fingertips. Mm -hmm. Yes, because sometimes it means a change for the individual and they're not ready for that change. Um, mm -hmm. It's a motivational piece and things like that. So, you know, if I just look at the physical aspect of being healthy, you know, just walk. Don't, you know, park far away on purpose. <laughs> take the stairs on purpose or, uh -huh. you know, stand up and sit down while you're watching TV or, you know, so those things mm -hmm. are at your fingertips. But, you know, presenting that to people who don't lead that on a regular lifestyle is challenging. So, mm -hmm. so it, it is easy and, you know, my advice is that this is the best time to do it because, you know, there are stressors in, in students' lives. I totally understand that. Mm -hmm. um, however, you know, you are still free, you know, to kind of do what you want. So to mm -hmm. develop that lifestyle now so that once you graduate and then you're, you're working eight hours a day and, yeah. you know, perhaps a family enters the, the picture and things like that, then all mm -hmm. of a sudden it's even harder yeah. to create that lifestyle. So this is the time to do it because... Right. You know, there is time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there is time. It's just uh -huh. a man. It's a matter of maybe managing that time a little bit better. Um, awesome. But this is the time to do it. So cool. that's great. Well, yeah. it, look, it sounds you. like a great event. Tell everyone one more time what it when is, the event is. Wednesday, April 11th, from okay. 11 to 2 p.m. And it's free for students. It's in the completely free. Everything is free for the day. Okay. Yep. Awesome. Exactly. Well, thank you, Laurie, so thank much. Thank you. Thank you. I we enjoyed having it. you. No problem. And we will be right back with Evan Ukulele Boy on the couch. One, two, three, hit it.